Johnson & Johnson is the only single shot vaccine on the market. It also works a little differently inside your body from the others. So will you see a difference? Well, WCNC Charlotte's Vanessa Rufus explains. Johnson & Johnson's vaccine is what's called a viral vector. It's a little different than the mRNA COVID vaccines that have been on the market for a couple months now, but the goal is the same. To help explain how it works, we go to the CDC and infectious disease specialist, Dr. David Priest. Well, Pfizer and Moderna use mRNA to teach the body to make the COVID spike protein, Johnson & Johnson uses an inactivated adenovirus carrying the genetic instructions for the spike protein. And rather than have a mRNA surrounded by a little bit of lipid that we're giving somebody, they're taking an inactivated virus that can't hurt you and putting DNA that encodes for the RNA and then the RNA is created. So the vehicle is different, but the destination is the same. The body makes the COVID spike protein and the immune system responds with antibodies. But there is one crucial result from the difference in J&J's delivery. The reason that the Johnson Johnson product is more stable is that DNA is more stable than RNA. And by more stable, it doesn't need super cold storage. It's more portable and can be distributed more widely, meaning more places for you to get your shot. Now, when it comes to the actual experience of getting Johnson & Johnson, doctors say other than the fact that it's one dose instead of two, there shouldn't be too much of a difference from the other vaccines on the market. Side effects are going to be pretty comparable. Things like headache, muscle pain, and fever. Vanessa Rufus, WCNC Charlotte.